We have uh, director of Sri Ram New Horizons with us. She is Ms. Madhuri Parthi and uh, she has done some great education technology implementations in our school and uh, we would be talking about flipped classroom and BYOD implementations. Uh, Ma'am, what, what brought you to implement the flipped classroom in your school? See, we were doing a project for the US state government. It's like we were creating a website for them. Uh, there's an organization called Doors to Diplomacy and we were making a website for them called Vasu Deva Kutumbakam All the World is But One and specifically on terrorism. And uh, so there was a lot of uh, problem with handling children with this project and their own uh, studies and exams approaching because the last date of submission is normally March last week. So then uh, we had to think of something and I came across this uh, flipped classrooms. So we started following them wherein we would uh, make the concepts clear through a recording. Okay. The teachers would sit, record and uh, given the lessons to the teacher along with that some printed notes were also given to the children wherein uh, children would study understand and there was a assignment which was followed after that to understand and the next day they were ready and quickly uh, we also used along with this peer teaching whatever they couldn't understand children other children who attended the class could make them understand that concept so so when you introduce this concept in your school what was the reaction of the teachers or, or the students were they actually like with the new model of teaching were they actually happy or what was what was their reaction okay initially I think whenever we try and experiment something new there is always um, there are inhibitions there are doubts but as and when we proceeded with it parents were very I mean I would say all the stakeholders were very very happy the way children could balance between that project and between their studies. So at that point of time, uh, we used to have only one computer lab. So that was also constrained and with all 35, 40 periods happening in that, we started something new called uh, BYOD. That is bring your own device where children would bring their own laptop or tablet or whatever. And um, that's where the whole work would happen. So integration of these two technologies like flip classroom and BYOD brought in great results for us. So so you found good improvements in the result basically? Yes, definitely. Both these technologies took us to the next level. Rather, we were the first um, school in India to win this award of Dorsto Diplomacy Platinum Award. We were the first ever school which uh, made it. Rather, uh, I still remember that evening, um, that whole evening, uh, because in Washington DC, it was like around 6.30 in the morning and uh, in India it was around 5 in the evening and the entire press, the entire press including you know from uh, all over the world was at my doorstep wanting to interview the children trying to figure out as to how they have been able to do it rather CNBC did a recording for around 72 hours with us interviewing each and every child as to how they balance the two. So, so have you implemented the flipped classroom throughout the school? Like, uh, is now it, have yes. you started with the now elementary? Now, yes. We are using for higher classes. We use it everywhere. Okay. And, and what, are, what have been the pros and cons of BYOD implementation? Like, have you faced some uh, challenges? See, initially, of course, the pen drives would disappear. The hard disk would disappear. But over a period of time, I think children have realized that uh, there is a better usage that we can have than just flipping things and these are common problems which everywhere people face. We also faced all these issues but then I think it died, uh, it, it took over. Uh, the passion of work took over everything else after that. So, so do you see increase in the engagement basically and do you measure the, the, the classroom engagement? And the teachers, are uh, have, have they seen the increase in the enga classroom engagement? Yes, definitely, basically? definitely. The results are far better because uh, when they are doing their hands-on projects, experiential learning, when they are... We also tried something new along with this flipped classroom. We allowed children to make their own question papers. Yeah, there were two sets being prepared, A and B. The students from A had to attempt B and the students from B group had to attempt A. So everybody tried to find questions which were very, very tough, intelligent, so that the other group couldn't answer. So that also was became a part of the flipped classroom wherein they would search for um, questions which were of higher order thinking, where their peer could find it a little challenging. And of 
course. It, it raised the bar to the next level. Ma'am, what would be your one tip to the edu other education leaders who, who want to implement BYOD or who, like they should basically? I think I would not even talk about BYOD or a flipped classroom. I would say as educationists, we should be very, very open to doing new things. It could be anything. Until unless we are ready to experiment, we are ready to be creative as leaders, we cannot expect change to happen. Nobody from outside can come and bring in a change into our organizations. We are the torch bearers. So until unless we decide not to walk on the trodden path and look for new uh, things for our children, for our students, for our teachers, and you see, it's not only te students who benefit, it's teachers, it's the entire, um, entire body which benefits. So it's always better to, for leaders to take chances, experiment, evaluate, plan, and implement. Yeah, I would see a PDC, Plan, Do, Check, Act, should be an ongoing cycle in every school. So, so now, are you working on improving uh, the outcomes of the flip, like practices <coughs> like flip classroom? Yeah, as I said, we've started now. Children have started in that flip classroom preparing question mm. papers for each other, and they are being exchanged between them. So that's a, that's a step ahead of Definitely. the next level, which we have already taken on our own. So th thank you so much for joining us at the India Education Summit. Thank you.